Hello folks. Well, that's the last time I'll be using Hetty Turbo for a while because yes, it's the 1st of June. Time to say goodbye to Hetty Turbo as vacuum of the month for May and say hello to a new vacuum that I'll be using for the month of June. So how was Hetty and I? How, how have we got on, Hetty? There's been no crossed words, has there? No, she's been pretty good, all told. I must say, she did develop slight body odour after a couple of weeks, but that was fixed by popping a little air freshener inside, and I'll show you these air fresheners I found on Amazon, they're a bit different to the normal little disc ones you can get, and I don't like using those granules that you put in the bag, because as you know, I uh, reuse the dirt for other demonstrations, and I found that when I've picked, when I've put those granules in a bag and if I've used it for demonstration dirt, especially if I put it on a hard floor, those granules tend to be spread out by the nozzle and they, they mark the floor. I mean, it wipes off easy enough, but it just, it's an annoyance. So I've made sure when using Hetty Turbo this month, I've not picked up any of those granules because I want to be using the food in her belly for other demonstrations. Okay. What are the pluses and minuses of Hetty Turbo? Well, for me, the pluses include Hetty's got a good suck on her, plenty of suction power for all around the home, although in some cases a bit too much suction power. Hetty, of course, has an easy change bag, so when I open up Hetty, there'll be no filthy filters to clean. She's got an extra long 10 meter cable, which means basically I could plug her in downstairs. I could even clean part of upstairs with Hetty still plugged in downstairs. She's excellent on hard floors, definitely. Let me just reach over and grab the standard carpet and hard floor nozzle. I have used this on carpet as well. It's very hard to push on my plush pile, but it's not too difficult. It's a bit easier than the previous nozzle, to be honest. Um, well, we'll try. This, I'll, I'm, I've been cheating a little bit. This is the Aero brush supplied with Hetty Turbo. Now Hetty Turbo is exactly the same as Compact Hetty, but comes with the additional turbo head. But I'm not keen on this head, especially since I've tried a couple of different ones, which I'll show you in a minute. So ooh, she's made some mess on me. So this nozzle, I wasn't keen at first, but in hindsight, it's not so bad. It is very good, as I said, on hard floors, going into my kitchen, pressing down the pedal so the brush comes down. Very good at cleaning the hard floors, so she has been used on carpets and hard floors. Stairs as well. I've used this nozzle on the stairs, and it's possible to reach almost up to the top of the stairs with Hetty at the bottom, with no need for an extension. You keep the handle and the wands attached, and with the nozzle at this angle, it is possible to boop, 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 go up the stairs and clean most of the stairs. So when I was whipping around the house with Hetty, that's what I did. So I didn't have to change anything. I have used this nozzle on the carpet as well as the turbo nozzle. I've chopped and changed. So I can go into the kitchen, do the hard floor um, with the brushes down, raise the brush for the carpets, do the hall and then up the stairs and then I can actually take Hetty and do some of the upstairs as well before I have to unplug her and uh, plug her in back upstairs. So f she's okay even for a quick whip round, not as convenient as a cordless, but it is possible to, to do the whole house with Hetty. And I have made use of all her tools as well, the standard tools, and I've nestled them together so we've, they all fit on. So obviously I've, uh, you can see I've used it because bits of muck are falling out. So I've obviously used this nozzle or this adapter, which some of you will know, most of you will know if you watch my channel for a while. It just allows you to connect any of the small tools or any of the tools actually directly to the end of the hose. And this is how I've been cleaning my Venetian blinds. And this, this dusting brush is excellent. So I've cleaned my Venetian blinds with this brush this month. And of course I've used the crevice tool. I was cleaning out some drawers. And again, I use the crevice tool directly on the hose end. Clean out some drawers with that upstairs. And I've done some upholstery cleaning as well. Again, it's dropping bits because Hetty has been used 
she's not brand spanking new anymore so yes I've used the upholstery nozzle with the brush attached and without so all in all my house has had a good clean around with Hetty to help me but yes this nozzle not so good on pet hair and on higher pile short pile carpets and floors it's very good Now this nozzle does skip a bit, it depends on the direction you're going, if I'm going across the room in the widest part of the room, instead of going left to right I go back and front, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, it depends which way you're going against the pile, it's easier. But it's not such a bad nozzle, you know, I didn't like it at first but it's grown on me since I've been using it more. But I tell you the nozzle I haven't used very much at all is the supplied aero brush because I've been cheating with pneumatic and I've got two others I've been trying and I bought them both from Amazon although I think one of them this one was from Amazon.de and this is basically the same turbo nozzle you get with some SIBO cleaners it's made by Vesselbeck and I believe it is similar to the Miele turbo nozzle as well the newer one but the Miele has a clear window here but I think it's the same sort of design same brush roll this comes in various colors it's a shame I couldn't get a pink or red one they only had the blue this will look very well actually with my Henry allergy so it's got an adjustable suction relief so on longer pile carpets you can open up the valve fully and it's still allowing the brush to rotate even if it gets a bit bogged down so with a normal turbo nozzle without adjustment if the carpet is too dense or it's a plush pile it can slow the brush down and you're not getting the efficiency but this although it will reduce the suction it does keep the brush rotating at full speed this is very good um, as I said I think I got this from amazon.de I couldn't find it on amazon.co.uk um, you might be able to get a universal one this is a universal to fit 32 millimeter it came with a little adapter as well but I think I had to yes I had to use the adapter it came with but it is so much better to be honest than the supplied one so let's give it a go So this head even when it's fully closed I could still push it along my Saxony carpet a little bit hard to push but certainly easier than the straight suction nozzle but with it open fully or even just half open I could certainly hear the brushes spinning faster and it was easier to push and it was grooming the pile better so that I have to say is much much better than the supplied aero brush another one you can consider could consider should I say is this one now i think i did get this one from amazon.co.uk i'll leave a link below if i can find it still this was only 20 pounds and this is classed as the entry level uh, vessel Vic turbo nozzle it does actually say vessel on it although it wasn't in the picture it was just plain but i'm not bothered now i don't think i needed an adapter for this i think this fits straight on i have a feeling this one has a 35 millimeter connection um, so it's, it's wider so you do have to use a supplied adapter but I'm pretty sure yes so this I would say if you're on a budget and you want a turbo nozzle for your Henry or any 32 millimeter vacuum any any vacuum that uses 32 millimeter tools I would say this is a good one to go for it's um, as I said it's entry level but as far as I remember, I'll have, a, I'll have another go on this. I think it was pretty good, but there's no adjustment. There's no suction adjustment like there is on the more deluxe head.
yes on this carpet I did have to open the suction valve otherwise it was too hard to push and it does stall a bit on this carpet but I've used this on short pile carpet and it's very good and again it's still an improvement I have to say on the aero brush supplied with Hetty Turbo my regular viewers will know that I'm a fan of bagged vacuum cleaners. I just find them so much more convenient to maintain, easier to empty out the dirt. It's a lot cleaner and more hygienic. There are a couple of disadvantages of a bagged vacuum. Obviously, you have to buy dust bags, but in the case of Hetty and Henry and all the pneumatic cleaners, the bags are pretty reasonable and widely available. You can just get them from anywhere online. A lot of retail stores sell them as well that sell vacuums and you can get a pack of 10 bags they'll last you absolutely ages and just next time you put in an amazon order just pop some bags in your basket and you've always got a good stock so you've got no chance of running out in an emergency you can use hetty without a bag but i wouldn't recommend it one disadvantage though of bagged cleaners is after a while they can start to pong a bit, especially if you've got pets. And I did notice, I'm sorry to have to say Hetty, but I did notice a little bit of a pong coming out of her exhaust end after a couple of weeks. So I've just masked the pong using some air fresheners. And these I found on Amazon. Again, if, if they're still available, I'll put a link below. These are called Vac Un Fresh. Now you can buy those circular disc ones, widely available, but these are a little bit different. Um, and these have got Techno Odor, was developed by Quintessence Fragrances Limited, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you get five. So I chose one fragrance to put inside Hetty. And where I put it, don't put it inside the bag, because when you get rid of the bag, you're throwing away the air freshener. So what I do, I pop the air freshener just at the top of the filter, just tuck it underneath. And the one I chose is Cool Breeze. And I suppose you could, it's made of card. If you've got um, an essential oil or a fragrance you like, you could always just spray it on when it loses its smell. Don't put it in the cleaner wet, but spray it on, let it dry, and then just pop it back under there. It shouldn't do any harm to the machine. I've used this sort of air freshener many times. But it says there's other fragrances you can choose inside. I can't say what they all smell like because I haven't smelt them all. I don't want to open them. But we get a vanilla pod. Can't see what that says. I think it says ebony or I don't know anyway that's a vanilla fragrance <laughs> then we've got lilac lilac like your grandmother's knicker drawer and then we've got pink grapefruit and orange oh I like this I like the sound of that one and sweet cherry blossom so a pack of five of those so I think I don't think they'll last forever every time you put a new bag in you might want to pop a new fragrance um oblong it's not even a disc so you can check that out, out on Amazon. Made in Britain, so same as Hetty. So support British business. Okay, well, we've got Hetty's uh, hat off or head and we can have a look. Well, let's have a look at the underside of the filter. There's a, a tinsy little brown mark. Compare that to a filter on a bagless cleaner after a month though. Bit of a difference because we've got another filter which is the bag she will spill out a little bit of muck i think when i remove the bag and this is the best way to remove a bag of a henry or hetty tilt tilt it up tilt him or her sorry up on his or her back wheels and you can take the bag out close the cover and you know if you want to be fussy there's a few little bits and spots of dirt I'll get a wet wipe give that a wipe before putting a new bag in but I don't need to put a new bag in because there is still loads and loads of life left in this bag I've used um, Hetty for helping cleaning out some older vacuums that I've unboxed as well this month because she's been on hand and um, I've used her to suck out the dirt out of a robotic vacuum I'm making a video of so there's a little bit extra in there than there would be but you know that is just 
so much cleaner, much cleaner way of disposing of dirt. But if you like a bagless cleaner, you get a bagless. There are pros and cons of both, but for me personally, and I think you'll find for people in the vacuum cleaner business, people who have been selling vacuums or repairing them for many years, will also say bagged is best. And I'm still gonna say bagged is best. Um, because, as I said, much, much cleaner to dispose of the dirt. No filter maintenance, really. So, I'll be sad to see Hetty go with her smiling face. Let me unplug her. Oh, there we go. I'm going for something completely different. And I've got it to unbox, so I haven't even used it yet. So we'll wind Hetty up. Come on, Hetty, nearly there. I know, she doesn't want to go. You can sit in the background and watch me if you want. See, see who's going to take your place. You'll be shocked and horrified, I'm sure, but anyway. I've got my reasons for choosing this particular vacuum of the month, so I'm going to bring it over and we'll unbox it together. Well, here it is. I've had this for quite some time, um, over a year, I think. And uh, I have had a peek at it, but not used it. Yes, I'm going for a Hoover. A modern Hoover, a modern Chinese Hoover, and a modern Chinese bagless, cordless Hoover. This is the H3 500 Compact Performance. I think this comes with two batteries, but I can't remember. <laughs> but I thought I'd go for this, and I've got a specific reason why I want to open this for the month of June and I'll explain as I'm opening it and showing you everything inside. Okay, first in the box. Oh, and that's going to be handy. Oh, that's a big bag. We get a big bag with Hoover on it. It's a, uh, it's a drawstring type bag. So there's that. Inside here, I believe that is a spare filter, which is quite unusual to see a spare filter, but a very welcome addition. Because it's bagless, you need to wash the filters occasionally. I'm not sure how often. Might be once a month with this, I'll have to check. But when the filter's drying, and you need to leave it for 24 hours at least to dry thoroughly, you can't use your vacuum. So if you've got a spare filter, pop the spare in while the other one's drying and just keep swapping them over. So that's an ideal thing to have. Good plus point for Hoover there. Another little box. I think this is the charger. It is indeed. We've got a charger here. Obviously it's got three pin plug on it because it's the UK version. All the instructions and guarantee. Now, this is a mini motorized tool. Medium soft brushes, not for, not very rigid, but that's good for your upholstery, clean your bed with it, pet bedding, could use it on stairs and a nice sort of matte and gloss finish, black finish and a little purple switch there. So that's your mini motorized turbo tool. This is a hanging bracket to store the cleaner on the wall, but I won't be doing that, especially considering where I'm going to be using this most. We've got the battery here, which Yes, you can charge it. I think you can charge it when it's in the machine and, and separately because there is a charging jack there. So you can just leave that on the worktop and charge that up. Then we've got a crevice tool. Oops. Which isn't bad. Not a bad length at all. And again, we have a push button release in the purple. So that's good for your nooks and crannies. Next, we have the 
main floor head for carpet and hard floors. I think that's a light brush bar status. So that will light up when the uh, brush bar's on. And I think it'll light up when you get a, if you jam the brush bar, if you suck up a sock or something. Now, they're pretty stiff brushes, but a pretty small opening. So that gives the advantage of concentrating the suction. So it should be fairly good at cleaning, but being quite a small brush, hair will get wrapped around this. There are grooves, I don't know if you just about see, built into the brush roll. So you can take a pair of scissors or a knife and cut through the grooves to remove any wrapped hair, but you can also easily take the brush out here. Just comes out, that's so simple. So yes, it's going to get wrapped with hairs if you've got long hairs. Uh, long-haired dogs, long-haired humans in your house, that will get wrapped around, I'm not going to deny it, but you just simply pull it out for cleaning. And then you've got access to the nozzle if there's any blockages and you can give the clear part a wipe over when you've got the brush out. And it should just slot in. It's hard to do this this way around, but yeah, let's go. Easy as pie. And there's some LED lights on the front as well. And a swivel neck. And I believe this does support itself. Unlike most handheld cordless type cleaners, you've got to lay them down or lean them up against a wall. But I think the weight of this cleaner will support itself so it'll stand up on its own. I'll check that, of course, in a moment. Then we've got the wand, which is aluminium, I'd say, as well as plastic. Nice purple accent color. H3500 corded performance compact tools on board and I think that might be it apart from the cleaner itself yes whoops and there's the battery so it is a twin battery model I've bought so that's good and here's the machine itself now, compared to the last cordless cleaner I used as vacuum of the month, which was the Vax Blade, this Hoover H3500 seems to be better made. It can't do any worse than the Vax for quality. It's got a nice rubberized hand grip. I like the matte black plastic. It's, it seems classier somehow than the shiny black plastic of the Vax. It's, it's very light, of course, I haven't got the battery in place. That's going to add to the weight. I think I have pre-charged one of these batteries. I'm not sure, but the battery just fits in like so. Yeah, of course, yes, we've got storage as well. I'll show you that in a minute. So the cleaner itself, even with the battery, is a lot lighter than the Vax Blade and it's slimmer, so it should get into nooks and crannies better. Let's take off the silent salesman. So yes, it does, it's self-standing, but you can store it in a small cupboard. And it says here in auto mode, up to 80 minutes, well, that will be twin batteries, up to 50 minutes, in standard but I think that I say that's based on having two batteries one battery won't last that long I love this it's really old school Hoover logo there it's very smart and as I said it does it feels nice I was quite impressed with it when I first opened it quite a while ago and had a quick look we've got a built-in tool you can of course just use it like this if you want to but we've got a built-in tool well, it's two tools actually it's a dual purpose so you can slide it out and that's quite a nice brush actually quite soft so you've got your dusting brush you can do your shelving you could do your blinds with it I suppose but you can also well press it again you've got release button you've got your upholstery nozzle with litter pickers I hope they're stuck down well on the Vax blade I had to use some super glue on the underside of the floor head for that and then there we go we've got a built-in upholstery nozzle so that's fantastic it's handy to have the tools built in 
and especially for where I intend on using this most. But of course, we've got the mini motorized tool. So that will still fit on, even with the built-in tools. You don't have to take them off. That will remain in place while you've got the mini motorized tool. And of course, we can put the wand. And it's a nice click fitting with a nice push button release too. I like that. And if you want to, you can put the small motorized tool on the end, but normally you'd put the main carpet and floor motorized tool. And of course you can fit, I say you can, yes you can, you can fit the crevice tool on the end so you can do low down by your skirting boards or baseboards in between furniture or up high for your cobwebs. And I'll just quickly check, but I can't see any reason why not. We should be able to fit the dusting tool. Can we? Is that the right way? It should go on, or does it? Hmm, maybe not. I think it does go on, but not, doesn't seem to click on very well. I'll check the instructions. You'd think that that should. Ah, you just need, there's a certain knack to it. Yes, it does fit on. It has gone on, so you can use it like that. I'll just pop those back into the storage mode. There we are. It's all new to me. I said I've had a quick look at it ages ago, but not so uh, I've not used it to clean up any dirt with with it yet. And there you go. So the reason I've chosen this for the month of June is because I want to use this cleaner as my caravan vacuum because some of you may know if you watch my Rogers Bits and Doings channel, I've got a new caravan and it's a lot bigger than the caravan that replaced it. Now, what I have been using in the caravan and I did a separate video is this Dyson V7 Trigger. And it was fine in the small caravan we've got, but to clean the carpet, there's no wand with this. So you had to go on the floor to clean the carpet. And then you could be using the same nozzle on the sofa as you were on the floor. And I didn't like that idea. I like to have separate nozzles you don't want to be using a dirty nozzle that you've been using on the carpet that can get quite mucky in a caravan and then using it on the sofas in the caravan. And this particular turbo nozzle or mini motorized tool is probably the worst of the Dyson ones but due to these brushes. There are more deluxe models in the Dyson range that have denser brushes than this. So this type of brush roll isn't as good as the, the one supplied. I think the V8 probably upwards comes with a better brush roll. Certainly the V10, V15, V11. Is it V11? <laughs> There's so many Vs, I don't know. So I'm retiring this. No more stooping down on the floor because with a Hoover, of course, we can use it like this. I chose a Hoover, I'm trialing it anyway, because I knew it was small and light Plus the fact it's got the mini motorized tool as well. So I can use this exclusively on the caravan sofas, but my new caravan has separate beds as well. So I can use it to clean the beds, dog hairs off the beds. We're going to Whitby next, so there'll be sand. So this will help remove sand if the sand gets up on the sofas, etc. So let's switch on, shall we? I've shown you the controls. So another plus point, removable battery, thumbs up, permanent on off switch. That's also something I like on a cordless cleaner. So with this one, you just press it once to turn it on. You've got the turbo mode, so it's two speeds, normal and turbo. And then you've got carpet button here. So when that button's pressed, the brush roll rotates. When it's not pressed, the brush roll is off. Well, I, do, I was holding this close to the mic, so it might have sounded noisier, but it is relatively quiet for a cordless vacuum. So that's good. We do have a battery status ring as well. I'll just show you if I turn it on again. There 
and you can see when you press turbo power mode shows here and that changes color you'll know it's in turbo obviously due to the sound of the motor so to empty it i don't know if you can empty it mm. now you do have to take the container off i think you just turn the container to the unlocked position and remove it and then you take that to your bin and it's brand new this always happens that that will will stick because it's new but you release the flap empty out the dirt the filters at the top so you can clean that from time to time but you can also take out the cyclone the inner shroud you can rinse that as well i, I would assume it certainly comes apart more than the dyson there's no reason to say you can't rinse that in water even a little bit of mild detergent if you want to rinse it shake it leave it to dry obviously as i always say it's got to be 100 percent dry before putting it back into the cleaner so that little bit needs to go on the top and there's nothing to stop you giving that a wipe and a rinse out from time to time if you want to so that's it that goes in that way there's only one way that goes in there's details on the back in case you get stuck if you've lost the instruction book filter goes that's handy it says up pop the filter in again it's shaped so it will only go one way like this there we are and then locate it back now the feeling oh I thought possibly it wouldn't turn on without the dust container on, but it does. I thought there was a little micro switch there, but it's not. But, well, it doesn't really matter. So, you just line up the arrow, there we go, to the unlocked, and then close it to the locked position. that's your mini brush and of course for doing stairs you can attach the main motorized nozzle direct to the cleaner itself And that's pretty quiet that head pretty like it right i pretty like it i don't know i need to have a lie down i think right <laughs> oh it goes that way so and also i mean it's it is bigger to store away in my caravan so i'll be storing it separate but with the with the little bag I could, I suppose. The cleaner does fit in it. So I could fit the cleaner. Possibly. Let me see. I'm not sure if I can fit everything in. Might be a bit of a squeeze. That's handy though. You see how this nozzle goes like that? So it will, if it won't fit in the bag, it'll fit in a smaller cupboard. Because this, is, this will be stored inside the caravan, obviously. But because, you know, I'm going away in June, so this will be coming with me. But I'll be using it in my home as well but even when I'm on holiday I'll still be using it so it's for the first time I'll be using the same vacuum even when I'm on holiday look in that bag I've got everything bar this oh that might even fit in just about possibly it's a bit of a squeeze it will stick out but you can see in theory that that I think will be ideal for my caravan let's give it a quick go now my caravan carpets are very short pile so I have no um, doubts this will be fine on the caravan carpet how's it gonna cope though on my plush pile of Saxony what do you think Hetty hey eh? cat got your tongue I'll also show you the storage um, I might have it in the storage mode. I'll have it in the storage mode at home, even in the caravan in the awning, perhaps I could do that. Let's see, now I think, 
and that's right. I think you, you see there's a little hook, oh no, squeeze the thing. There's a little hook that says storage and there's a little recess that says storage there. So pop it on and then push it back. That's it and it actually clicks into position. So look, it will stand up in storage mode and to release it from storage mode, press the button, I think. There we go. And as I said, it should stand up on its own anyway. And it does, but you know, a little gentle breeze or someone walking by and it could fall over. So I wouldn't necessarily trust it to stand up without falling over, but at least it does stand on its own. Okay, well, here's the big test. Will it work on my carpet? Yes, yes, it does. I mean, the head is quite lightweight, but it's it does feel more substantial than the Vax blade head, I have to say. Now, that was on normal mode. I'm not sure what it's going to be like on turbo. I'll try it on turbo mode. It was stalling a bit on turbo. On a short pile carpet, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just, the Saxony carpet is, is very problematic. Big mistake to buy that. But I'm already liking this far better than the Vax Blade. It is lighter in the hand. It's got a comfortable rubberized grip. It's, it's just so much nicer in my opinion, and it's got a very, swivelly head I think I'm going to enjoy using this Hoover H3500 more than I enjoyed using the Vax Blade. This is certainly a lot more comfortable to use. I prefer the power head on it. And um, all in all, I think it's a much nicer vacuum cleaner. And I think this will be ideal for my caravan. I'll be taking my camera with me on my caravan holiday. So I'll be making a little short video of this cleaning my caravan and I'll include it in next month's video when I give you my full summary of this Hoover and show you what I'll be using for the month of July. Can you believe it? July next month. Half the year almost gone. So we can take out and, well I know I've not used it much, there's a little bit of dust starting to appear on the filter. Always happens. Make sure that's in properly. Let's empty out the dirt. So that's the lentils. Ooh, well, not only have we got the lentils, let's just tap it. 
Oh, <laughs> the dog hair or the fluff has got caught in, so it's going to be a finger job. I didn't put any of that down. It's found that on the carpet, which has been vacuumed yesterday. Of course, the lentils I did put down. There's other dust as well. Some quite fine gritty dust in there. Just on a very short area I've cleaned, you know, I've just cleaned a very small area of the carpet. A bit on the stairs as well, as you saw, a bit in the hall, a bit in the living room. And I just put down the lentils just to give you a visual demonstration of this cleaner picking up. But all in all, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I don't know why I left it in the box so long. Let's just get that lined up. Let's make sure I've got the top on with any new product. It's a bit of a learning curve. But it becomes second nature after a while. Just got to make sure I line up. That's right, line up the open padlock. Oops, <laughs> with the arrow. It's very difficult showing you. If I wasn't showing you how to do this, it would be fine. But uh, obviously trying to show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it is trickier. So there you go. That's the Hoover H3 500. So hello to the Hoover. And goodbye and thank you very much to Hetty. Stay tuned for more vacuum fun. I've got a robotic vacuum cleaner coming up very soon, possibly some more vintage machines. And I'm sure we're all still waiting eagerly for the arrival of Henry Quick, which of course I will be showing you on my channel as soon as it arrives. If you have any comments or questions about Hetty or the Hoover H3500, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.